first debut performer of the night. Yeah! This is gonna be great. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a young man right from uh, Long Island, from Long Beach, Long Island. It's his first time over here at Gotham. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Ron Carroll. There's a good chance they'd get raped by the orderlies. And that really pisses me off, because if that's true, that may be the only time in my life that I'll have sex on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow. Thank you. <laughs> Women who are gold diggers, they get criticized a lot, but I admire them. Really, I do. It's like they have these mystical powers. They can take a look at me for just one second, and they're like, no gold here, I'm out. <laughs> I answer the phone for a financial services company, and these people call it all day long complaining, my investments are down, this market sucks, your company messed up my account. I mean, they're yelling this and that at me. Now, do I look like a titan of Wall Street too? <laughs> Do you think that the weekend before Lehman Brothers went bankrupt, Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson said, there's only one man who can save us. <laughs> Get Carol on the phone. <laughs> A lot of times we complain that politicians are never honest when they run for office. I don't think that's fair. I mean, what do you expect these politicians to do? Run commercials where they say, Hi, I'm a horny bastard who wants to steal your money. I'm Ron Carroll, and I approve this message. I, I hate my day job so much that I've given a lot of thought to getting some part-time work while I continue my education. The only problem is, I don't really have an education. <laughs> shaky right now, I thought, what is it like to be a real estate agent in a place like the Gaza Strip? I, I mean, do you have to answer questions like, does the missile launcher come with this apartment? <laughs> Did you say things to clients like, I'm sorry, Mr. Mahmoudi, but uh, in your price range, I can only show you apartments for three walls. <laughs> but they do have some great views. <laughs> A study recently indicated that young people are spending more time on social networking sites than watching porn. These kids have no respect for tradition. <laughs> I don't think people are too into religion anymore. I think they're interested in other things. Like if Jesus came back to life today, I think he may hear something like, God, what are you doing? You're blocking my view of Jeremy Piven. I hate when people tell me I look Jewish. <laughs> Especially when we're discussing a completely unrelated topic. <laughs> I, I walk into this building recently and the security guard asks me for the time. I give him the time and he says, are you Jewish? I was like, excuse me? He said, well, you look so shy and unassuming. Shy and unassuming? I don't think this guy is telling me I look Jewish. I think he's telling me he wants to fuck me. I, I know this girl, um, she has a Jewish boyfriend, but her father really hates Jews. And I thought, I thought to myself, you know, what if my girlfriend's family hated Jews, you know? How would I react? What would I do about it? You know what? There's only really two questions for that girl. Is she a Mets fan? And will she have sex with me? Okay, so her father hates Jews, wants to kill as many as possible. I mean, no one's perfect. Don't we all have some issues? <laughs> Thank you.
thank you, thank God. I like this girl right here. And this one right there. I actually found out that I'll be uh, losing my day job in about a month. And, uh, two-hour commute, the minimum wage, and some anti-Semitic customers, it really was a great job. <laughs> and I, I gotta tell you that, um, you know, these girls who work at strip clubs, they're really not that bright. <laughs> so, I'm at this strip club recently, and you know, the girl takes me into the back room. We sit down, and she says to me, do you want to dance? I'm thinking, do I want to dance? I'm sitting here in a dark room, in my sweatpants, with your ass in my face, because I'm waiting to hear your views on what's going on in the Middle East. Thank you so much. You've been a terrific audience. I never get any advance notice.